am so excited to introduce myself to you. I am the author of A Kite for Malia, co-authored with my husband, Samuel Nar, illustrated by Valerie Asura, published by Chasing a Spider Publishing. And I wanted to give you a little backdrop about this book, A Kite for Malia. And as you can see, Malia's right there on the cover. She's just kind of laying out in the grass and just relaxing. A little bit of a backdrop about this book. Um, a Kite for Malia was written by myself, as I mentioned, with my husband. And it's a story about a little girl and perseverance. She does not give up on her goal. Her goal in this story is to make a kite. There's a bigger picture behind Malia wanting to construct this kite as she wants to fly this kite for a friend in remembrance of her, maybe a fur friend, a fur baby that she grew up with and that she misses. And you'll see throughout the story um, what she's going to do for that fur friend that she used to have. Um, and if you're ready, I am ready to get started and bring to you a kite for Malia. Malia watches the older children fly kites over a ridge. She wants to fly one too. It's beautiful kites. She misses Ginger and how they chase fireflies up and down the hills. Ginger. Malia asks the older kids, can I also play with your kites? In unison, they say, Go and make your own kite. Malia doesn't know how to make a kite. These kids won't teach her either. She wishes that their kites would get stuck in a boab tree. Can you imagine that? Oh man. Malia knows that some of the smartest people visit the library on the other side of town. She's played with Ginger in the fields of the library before. Maybe one of them can assist her. With twists and turns, these dusty roads seem endless. Even so, the sight of the library fills her heart with joy. So the library does to me also. But no one here knows how to make a kite. Malia feels like throwing away the items for her kite. Somehow she suspects that an answer is close by. She finds a book about kites hidden in a case. She discovers twinkles of beauty and silence. This age booklet smells like success. She makes a kite with a bow on its tail. Malia goes back to the ridge. Her kite won't fly. The older kids tease her in unison. A pig with the bow still won't fly. Dear, tears fill her eyes as she tries again. Her kite circles in the air like a dog chasing its tail. They laugh at her frightening a stubborn fawn nearby. My kite is an eagle, she whispers to herself. She centers the bridle of her kite. The older kids are speechless now. Wow, Malia's kite dances with the rainbow. Her kite tugs, feeling heavy, as it soars into the cradle of the sky. Malia's face beams with joy because she's tagged a note on her kite just for Ginger. <laughs> Perhaps her best friend might also hang a note for Malia on a star. Malia fills her heart, soar like the kite. 
she knows that Ginger is happy chasing fireflies in the sky. The end. I enjoyed reading this book with you today. Thank you.